Hello and welcome to how to use camera position node in a material. So here I have a simple lerp between red and blue set to an alpha of 0.5, giving me this nice purple colour. The camera position node returns the position of the camera in world space coordinates. So let's say we want to use this for our lerp. What I'm going to do is set my camera position and I'm going to do a component mask and I'm going to take out the R and G and just put in the B. B represents the Z value, the height, whereas R and G represent the X and Y respectively. I'm going to take this mask value and I'm going to divide it by a distance and I'm going to put in a thousand. I then want to clamp this value between zero and one. I don't want it to go anywhere else. I just want to keep it between zero and one. And then bring that into my alpha, my lerp. So what we can see here is that as I change my height of my camera, you can see the color changing. Okay. Now, how can this be useful? Well, let's say we want to now take distance away rather than height. So let's go into our material. And instead of just using camera position on its own, let's also use the actor position too. This actor position also returns the world space coordinates of our character, of our actor here. And what we do is work out a difference between these two. So I'm going to do camera position, subtract that there. I then want to absolute this value. So do abs and then bring that into the divide there. Now, what is absolute doing? Absolute, it will basically get rid of any negative values and make them all positive. So our values will stay within the zero to one range. I'm then going to put this and in the world and see, oh, don't need to do that. So as you can see, as I get further away, it becomes blue. and I get closer, it becomes red. So how else can we use this? Well, we don't have to just change color. We can also change our opacity. So let's go into my thing here and change this to translucent. And we're going to plug the clamp here into the opacity pin. So now we get a similar effect, but this time, as I get further away, it becomes more opaque. And closer, it becomes more see-through. This can be quite useful for fading things in and away based upon the distance away from the player character's camera. All I have to do is change this to be flipping it around by going into the clamp here and doing one minus and put that into my opacity there. Now I'll flip it around. So basically, the closer I get to it, the more opaque it gets. The further away I get, the less opaque it gets. To a range of a thousand. And that is because we set up that uh, divide here to divide by a thousand. But there you go. That's the camera position node and the actor position node. If you want to know more about how to use Unreal Engine, please do check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where your donations will give you access to all my videos early from just $1 a month. Thank you to all the patrons and YouTube members who are supporting the channel so far. And thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.